Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Sam Beyond and Theroux with Monty. Right before you, this lady needs no introduction because when you are the greatest, everyone knows who you are. Your accomplishments speaks for themselves. And she is a legend, an icon, a champion of the highest order. And her career is just stellar. It is just amazing as to what she has been able to accomplish. Yes, we all know this is Simone Biles, who is in Tokyo at the moment, waiting to start competing I believe later on today. Simone Biles is a five-time world all-around champion from 2013 to 2019. Five-time world floor exercise champion, three-time world balance beam champion, two-time world vault champion, a seven-time United States national all-around champion, In fact, she has not lost a match, a gymnastics match since 2013. That is an amazing accomplishment. Just an incredible feat for anyone to go that long as a champion at the height of her sport. Now, I say this much. Simone Biles should win champion, really, sportswoman of the decade champion of the decade, athlete of the decade, anything that you can name, she should win it. And um, she really has no equal. But I want to talk about something. And I want to talk about how did Simone get to where she's at? Because on top of all of this, what she had to go through was not anything like a fairy tale. It was so far remo- removed from it. You know, her birth mother, Shan- Shannon Biles, was unable, was unable to care for Simone and her other children. She has four. And the four children went to foster home. So, dealing with a separation of siblings must have been traumatic. A very a life turning event. I know because I have seven uh, brothers, you know, well, there's seven of us. And um, we had a great time growing up. And I couldn't imagine any one of us being separated at such a young age. So just what she had to go through. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to just turn this around uh, uh, today, though. But um, basically, Simone Biles' maternal grandfather, Ron Biles, and his second wife, Neely. They began a temporary caring for um, the children in North Houston. And basically, the couple officially adopted Simone and her younger sister, Adria. And Ron's sister, Shannon's aunt, adopted uh, the two oldest children. So basically, yes, they were separated, but they were all, the good thing is that they were in the care of family. And that's excellent right there. So I believe that she got a chance to see them as they were all growing up. But let's go through some dark times. Simone Biles, like over 240 other gymnasts, for a period of over 10 years, this man was allowed to just roam free and be an animal, was abused sexually by Larry Nassar. And it's just amazing that she never allowed this type of trauma or traumatic experience to stop her. That is another life-changing event. A lot of women, it would have crushed. And who knows how many uh, gymnasts who had just this great potential to be a champion that he took that away from. It could have been in the hundreds, 
hundreds of gymnasts, I'm sure that, you know, was not able to cope, had nightmares after this experience, probably went on to eating disorders, probably went on to body mutilations, abuse of oneself. It can trigger a host of problems. Sexual abuse it can. But Simone rose above it. Not only her, Ali Reisman, other gymnasts did too. They were able to rise above that. And kudos to the one who testified in court. Not only that, another hardship. This boyfriend right here cheated on her. And um, after she broke up with him, he got very salty and very bitter and posted a picture with his current girlfriend stating that when you find better, you find better. That was extremely rude, very uncalled for, very immature. It really was. But then again, when you find better, you find better. Well, Simone did find better, much better. I think that they look great together. They kind of complement each other. The smiles are all there. You can tell that um, she wants to be with him. He wants to be with her. Unlike this one here. And let me just bring in the racial component because we have to touch on this. His mother's white. And with most biracial men who are mixed with the white mother, they do prefer white women. And the girl that he cheated on Simone with was a white, blonde-haired, blue-eyed, very Norwegian-looking girl. So probably he liked someone similar to his mother. That's all okay. But the insults are not. Good thing about Simone is that the universe sent her someone better. Jonathan is a football player. He's an athlete like she is. Well, so was the other guy. But that that's very helpful because you understand their schedule, their dedication, the hard work, the training which they put in, how they need to be away for certain periods of time. You understand that. And by that understanding, the relationship is smoother. So Simone Biles, a mother who was on drugs, unable to care for her and her siblings, her siblings being separated out the foster home, then eventually being reunited with family, sexual abuse at the hands of a trainer who should have been protecting the girls, who should have been looking after their well-being. But he was a monster. A gymnastics federation who covered it up, who allowed it, and eventually they were dismantled. But she rose through all of that, all of that, to become the champion that she is today. And no matter what happens in Tokyo, her accomplishments speaks for themselves. Her athleticism speaks for itself. Her ability to raise the bar high, to do, I want to say tricks, maybe skills is a much better word, that other women gymnasts have never done before. She's bringing the, the sport a whole new global attention because of who she is and what she has done. And we must remember all of what she has done has been in the face of adversary. She did not have any type of easy life growing up at all. She has got to be one of the most mentally sound and strong people in the history of sports to just soldier through, to just continue on, to not allow what happened to her in the past affect her and throw her off balance. So basically, we're looking at someone who went through those very traumatic experiences, did not look to gain any type of sympathy 
or any type of advantage or to twist it and use it to her favor. And let's not forget about the 2019 World Championships where she competed with a very painful kidney stone and still came out on top. So we're looking at an individual who has beat the odds by a long shot, who technically should not be where she is. But a lot of this has to do with the love of a grandparent, the love of a guardian, and her grandparents fill that role. And from the pictures that I've seen when she was younger, those smiles, she had a decent upbringing, no doubt in part by her grandparents. So Simone Biles sits today with 25 world medals, the most by any gymnast. And no doubt in Tokyo, she's going to add more. But to think about this here, she doesn't need to add more. She doesn't really need to impress because she's already done that by a long shot. It's not really about adding medals as much as it's about doing something you love. Something that God has given you the talent to do. And the talent in which God has given you to do, in some small way, you are using that talent to make the world a better place. And in doing that, that is a gold medal for all of us. And for that, we thank you, Miss Simone Ariana Bowles. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is another edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty, and I will see you beyond and through.